This right there is in your pocket 24 hours a day. Every chance I can, I'm getting on Facebook or Twitter. Um, stay connected with your peers, kind of see what's going on. If you don't have social media, you're not really in the loop. So everyone just wants to feel included. On social media, you don't want to miss out on what people are doing. Yes, social media and texting, it's an addiction. Oh, I need to check in. Like, what is everyone doing right now? Why aren't you talking to me? I know you're on your phone. That's bad luck. Like, that will never happen to me. It just keeps people connected. Stay connected with your peers to kind of see what's going on. It's how I stay connected to my friends, really. It's like I can stay in contact with people I don't get to see very often. It's a different way of socializing with people. When I have my phone with me, I feel kind of better because I know I'm connected with everyone. So it's like 24-7, 365 days a year, I need my phone to be there. It's just that connection that you can just get in touch with anyone so fast. Everyone can know what everyone's doing uh, at any time, pretty much. I feel like if you check your phone, there's going to be something exciting there, better than what you're doing, I guess. It's a basic necessity at this point. If you don't have social media, you're not really in the loop. And when you're in high school, if you're not in that loop, it's very difficult. For me, it's kind of like wondering, is anyone trying to get in touch with me, like if I don't have my phone? Or am I missing out on something, I guess? Like if something happens, you don't want to be the last one to hear about it. You want to be able to tell someone else. You want to be, oh, like I have this new information about it. Um, you know, you don't want to be outside on the loop if there's something trending, something happening in the high school, you know, you kind of want to be in the loop. I definitely get anxiety when um, I don't get to people, I don't get back to people soon enough or if they don't get back to me. Well, it's more of an urge to want to talk to them so you can stay connected all the time so you're never like out of the loop. It's expected and everyone does it, so everyone just wants to feel included. Go oh, no, they called me and I'll freak out. What am I missing out on? Who's texting me? What do they want? Anxiety, always wondering, maybe someone's texting me. It's just part of that anxiety and that fear of missing out. If you're more active, you get more attention, and that's what everybody wants. Yes, social media and texting, it's an addiction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I know that every chance I can, I'm getting on Facebook or Twitter and trying to find out what my friends are up to. Or... It's an addiction, I think. It can either like really make you feel good about yourself, can really make you feel bad about yourself. Um, I think it does affect your self-esteem a little bit, like how on Instagram you feel a little bit better about yourself if you get that one extra like, or you know, if someone else like comments on your picture, it's just kind of like a little boost. It's so much fun just to check what everyone's doing, check, oh, like, they're dating, they're not dating, I, all the drama going on, like, oh, I need to check in, like, what is everyone doing right now? It's easy when it's not your own, like, just going and seeing what's going on and be like, oh, what's all going on in everybody else's life? What, what are they putting out there for everyone to see? I think, well, they think, oh, if I hold the wheel with my knee, then I can have my hands to text quickly. And because it's just everyone I know does it, you know? Everybody is on the wheel with one hand, another hand down low. No cops can see you. I know it's wrong, but as a driver, I do do it. I do engage in texting and driving quite frequently. Uh, it is dangerous. It is dangerous. I don't know, they say multitasking is bad and some people think they can take it on, but you're just not fully paying attention to everything you're doing at that moment in time. I don't think teenagers are better at distracted driving. I think we think we are. Sending off a text, you can text one hand on the wheel, the other one. If you pull over on the side of the road, chances are you're going to you know, pull over on the side of the road 30 meters down due to people having their phones on hand and being able to reply so quickly. Like, press a button and talk into the phone and send it. It's like you're barely even looking. Even though your eyes are still on the road, you're still, your mind's somewhere else. 
It's so easy. Like my phone, I just one swipe my finger and it's up and then type out whatever I want to type out and sent two seconds later. And so the, you can see how someone would think, oh no, it's just two seconds, I won't get in a car crash. Yes, I'll look at my phone, like if I hear the noise go off, I'll pick up my phone and I'll look down and I'll scan it, put it back down. It just seems much more real, like having the reward of just reading the text message than the risk of getting into a car accident or, you know, hurting someone else. I think it would it would be like what was she thinking? Or like how could you do that? I don't think it would be accepted at all. A lot of depression, a lot of strange looks. People would be like, something so simple can end a life as to just a text and I would say it, it, it would be awful. I don't even I couldn't even describe it. I'm not sure I would come to school. I wouldn't I would definitely have a tough time handling it. I I'd be done. I wouldn't be able to handle it. When we were on the road, she kind of started doing it. I was like, she's really texting and driving. And even though they weren't long messages, in my mind, I was like, are you serious? I was like, what if we get hurt? But then I was like, I can't say anything because what would she think of me? Because I'm always considered like the mom of the group. I mean, being in a car crash would certainly mess me up anyways, but um, a car crash where someone was killed because of something as stupid as texting and driving, I mean, that just amplifies it. I would just want to stay in the bathroom stall for the rest of my life. I would feel horrible and... Can you even imagine that? No, I couldn't. Just like to say, yeah, I accidentally killed someone would... I can't imagine it. Yeah, they would look at me weird and, I don't know, they would judge me thinking I'm a bad person. I think I should have said something because I wasn't the only one in the car. My sister was in the car with me and I don't know if I could live with the thought of anything happening to her. And when, I, when she's in the car with me, I never look at my phone because I don't think I could live with the fact of her dying because of me if I looked at my phone.